G'day there, gang. Welcome back to Chump the Champ. My name's Waylands, but most people call me Wally. Today, we've got the season review, and we will find out the, the outcome of my job application over at... Um, I can't even remember who I applied for now. Napoli. That's it. Naples. Napoli. Maradona's team. That's the one. Remember the Mars Bar t-shirt? One of the best trips ever. Anyway... Let's get into the end of season review here and see what is what amongst the signings here. Well, Adrian Askew's signing of the season. I will have no arguments with that. Um, Sefer Alea good as well. Look, and Verbruggen, I think, did all right uh, when he was called on. I have started training him as a left back. He's left footed. He plays right wing back. He's got good defensive stats. I, I need him there. I need another wing back. I can't rely on another years of having knackers. And he's probably going to keep his spot in the team, surely because he's Belgian. And we've got a couple of Belgian players that I want away. So we need to uh, get onto that. But absolutely fantastic season for Maskew's. Two goals, 12 assists. Most of those from corners and free kicks. It doesn't matter. Alea, 18 assists. Um, yeah. Wish I'd got him for the sign on signing fee and played him enough games at the end of last season to get the cheap signing fee. But it doesn't matter. We got him in. He did a job. That's the main thing. Let's go to the season results. Well, Belgian Pro League A, we finished second. But we finished top of the table in the um, uh, the overall standings at the end of the day in the league split when we played in the Champions Group. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, final position first. Absolutely fantastic. This is bugs out in Belgium because it does. And Montoya with 19 goals. Not too bad, I guess. Uh, the European Champions Cup. Look, to get knocked out by PSG after taking down AC Milan. Pretty happy with that, all in all. Um, that's bugged as well. And taking out Galatasaray and beating, you know, all these teams that we beat and then losing in the round of 16 there. Yeah, not too bad. I mean, that result against AC probably was the precursor of that. But to keep Erling Haaland to one goal over two legs... Pretty good, if you ask me. I, I thought it was good. We've re-qualified again, so if I am still here next season, we will be given that another tilt. Uh, goal of the season from Montoya. Um, yeah, I thought there was better ones than that. Um, I can't even remember that goal, but I know Knack has hit one from miles out. I know, I think it's Dickie Diamond hit one from miles out, and Askew scored just the best free kick towards the end of the season off camera. Absolutely fantastic stuff. Um, the 5 0 win against, yeah, Wester, that's what it was. And the beer shot match, it was what it was. Uh, for me, the big match was when, in the last episode, when we beat Andalex, that was the one that got us going. Reputation wise, we're pushing up to be a, a five star, four star club here. We're a three and a half star now. I think another good season in the Champions League will get us over the line there. And perhaps a few more light top level players that bring with them that sort of reputation. I have got. Someone in the pipeline, but we'll have a talk about that later. All the incomes are up, which is really, really good, as you would expect with a season in Europe. Uh, broadcast revenue more so, half a million more from that. And corporate hospitality as well. A nice little increase there. And competition prize money, 26.75 million. Uh, most of that being the Champions League money. Uh, Montoya, Romero, Maselovic, Berla Marquis, and the no, no homegrown Belgian players in the top of the shirt sales. That's more to do with my squad than anything else. Let's have a look at the AI thinks how I lined up. You know what? It's got it pretty wide. In fact, it's got it 100% right. Uh, it's uh, Tosi in the goals. Uh, Nakas, Vibruga, Maselovic, Valentin as the back four. Bertel Marquee and Askew's in the center of the park. Uh, Cunny, Romero. I don't think... I think the 6.95... I think I need to look at a different role for him next season. I think I might, if I keep this... Uh, four, two, three, one, and I stay at the club. I might look at a different role for Romero. I might play him as a shadow striker next season. I, I don't think I got the most out of him, considering he's the most skilled player, you know, attributes wise on the team, by some considerable margin. Um, fantastic season from Cunny. I was particularly impressed with that. Um, also Askews and Bell Marker in the centre of the park never failed me. These two are just bosses at the back, but we already knew that from last season. I got manager of the season last year. I, I would expect uh win that again this year to be fair uh fans player of the season with Mats Verbrugge look I can't believe this boy's value doesn't go up I'm gonna have to nail him down to a new contract otherwise Pamplona might come in and take him and I really don't want him to leave young player of the season also Verbrugge signing of the season Askews but we knew that 
Uh, we already knew about Montoya's goal of the season. 23 goals in all competitions for Montoya. Didn't really set the world alight in the Champions League, but we played defensive football a lot of the time in the Champions League and played on that balanced mentality and relied on set pieces and stuff, which brings our centre-backs into the play. Most man of the match awards were Cloyd Cunney. I really thought he was really good this season, Cunney, after being a little bit inconsistent last season. Uh, Maselovic, highest average rating. Um, good stuff from our vice-captain there. And, well, for Bruggen, with the most passes completed. That's just always an outlier, that one. It's someone that's played a couple of matches that plays short minutes when everyone else is tired and his percentage gets up. Uh, most assists by a player in a season. Um, Alea takes over from the traitorous Facundo Rubio. Uh, but again, as I said in the last episode, Rubio had 17 assists by halfway through the season. Alea just got there in the second last game, or third last game, I think it was. And most goals, like Big Kev, continues to stretch away 163 goals for the club all up. Well... We've done a double here. I wouldn't call it the double. I mean, it said the double in the what's it called in the um in the press release after we won one thing. But it's fantastic. Um, we upset the odds pretty much from the beginning. Yes and no. I mean, we won it last year. Surely we were always in with a chance this year. Um, I was a bit worried myself just towards the end of the playoffs, but we've done pretty well. Let's look at our overall best 11 squad. We are starting to push out all the dudes that used to play there that haven't played for me. So our best ever 11, our lineup is Tosi in the goals, Knackers, Daland, Popovich, and Vletnik as the back of four. I mean, okay, Vletnik, Popovich, Knackers all played for me. I, I, Maselovic and Verbrugge need to push their way in there. Canute, De Silva, Lopez in the center of the park. I think the Peru Peruvians will knock them out eventually. Uh, big Kev up front with Romero behind. Yeah, it pretty much picks itself. Bert de Kock on the left. Not going to argue that. Uh, Hotik, who uh, I haven't... Can't even click on him. Um, who, yeah, who was here before me. Uh, on the bench, we have Didelon, Smekens, Matez, Merchan, who... Look, is he hungry and Belgian? No, he's just Argentinian. Is he actually playing? Yeah, he is, unfortunately. Damn, he might have been a good signing for us. Bella Marque, Porcelot. It's a Porcelot. Again, probably going to stick around next season to get us club um, to get us over the club registration rules. Claude Carney and Abel Montoya on the bench. Not a bad lineup at all. Not bad. Still no word on the job application with Napoli yet. I'll let you know closer to the time. In fact, let's go have a look at Napoli now. Let's make sure they haven't been relegated. That would be unfortunate. No, I think they, they've scraped it in. Oh, my giddy aunt. Three points. Oof. Right. That would be a rebuild and a half from there. But, Joe, you know what? I think that's sort of challenge that will keep me ticking over for another season here. I would want to take them over and finish top seven straight off the bat, if not make the Champions League. Anyway, I'm going to go and get into some scouting thingies just in case we do stay at the club. I'm really, really hoping I get that Napoli position, but we might not. So I, I better plan for both futures and um, let's see if we can land ourselves a job in, in the Serie A. And another little piece of news here is just the Champions League overview here. As you can see, we've been voted the biggest overachievers. I bloody agree too. I think we did well to get as far as we did in the first knockout round. It was unfortunate that we got PSG in the first knockout round. They made it to the final and lost to Chelsea. Damn shame. Erling Haaland, 21 goals. This guy's going to get buffed for football manager 23. Still haven't heard about the Napoli position. Keep you posted. Uh, we have brought one guy in. We've signed um, Antonucci. Look, he's a bit older than I'd like to sign, but we're losing Raf Smekins. Camilo Romero wants out, so I've agreed to let him go if someone matches his transfer clause, and obviously I couldn't help that anyway. It's time for me to leave. It's time for me to leave. So I'm going to be actively looking for jobs and see if we can get out. But Antonucci, look, I don't think he's a bad signing for us. If I do end up having to hang around at the start of next season, he will fix the Romero problem there. And he's versatile enough to play several positions. He's still got enough pace for an old boy for this league. Welcome to the team, Francesco. And oh, Fran Francesco, it probably is, isn't it? Fr Francesco Antonucci, that's definitely Italian. What's his nationality? 
Yeah, he's Italian, but he's eligible. He's Belgian. There we go. Beautiful. Welcome to the club, dude. Here we go. We say goodbye to Leonardo da Silva Lopez. I'm so glad he scored in that last game that we featured him in. Uh, began his career at Peterborough, of all places. But boys from Lisbon and ended up being uh, a mainstay for us. And he's won the Belgian Pro League A twice at the end of his career. Massive servant for the green and black. Thank you very much, Leonardo. Football manager continues to serve up anomalies here. Uh, Mats Verbrugge, after three seasons in my starting lineup, has been voted Rookie of the Year in the league. Mohamed Valentin, second. After a second year of basically featuring every game. And yet my ass man wants me to downgrade him to a breakthrough prospect. Yeah. Don't think that's happening, sunshine. But yeah. I'd like to see this sort of stuff approved for FM23. I mean, it just improved the immersion just a little bit, I think. Just a wee little bit. Stefan Olea here wins the award for most assists. But again, I stress, 15 assists. Yeah. Well, I don't, I don't know. It's it's like old mate that we lost earlier, um, Facundo Rubio. Manage that in half a season. I wish I'd be able to keep that boy for a bit longer. Uh, and Tosi gets edged out by Grasso for um the uh, the golden the golden glove. Uh, Wally Yonk, man, I, I want that boy in my team. It was like we need more Wallys about the place. Absolutely, we do. Um, and here is the Belgian Pro League A team of the year. Knackers gets in there on the back of the start of his performance of the year. Uh, Verbrugge gets in, but Maselovic doesn't somehow. Valentin on the wing, and Adrian Askew's in the center of the park. So that is a pretty good representation for us, I think. It is pretty fair. I don't really think either of our strikers really deserved it this year. Neither of them really set the league on fire. Um, what drugs are the board on? Emotional damage! I don't know. Back to back, fantastic Champions League run, a B plus, a B fluffing plus. Time to move on. Uh, yeah, I've been robbed. Didn't win Manager of the Year. Keep saying it. Time to move on. All right here it is, gang. I got an interview with Napoli. Let's go. Oh, I'm really keen for this one. Right, let's get into it. Radio standard. Let's get started. How did you cap? Uh, relative obstacle, not being able to speak the language. I can I can learn the language quickly. Yeah, I've learned two others. I can learn another one. Some ratifications can't you never imagine this country? Well, the fact that I have various experience in other countries hopefully make up the fact that I'm yet to work here. I think that's good. Why do you want to leave your current job after doing so much good job there? I want to take the next step in my career. Why are you thinking of making what people describe as a sideways move in management? This is not a sideways move. How am I going to answer this one? Managed clubs of this size before, and it's not a big adjustment for me to make. Aren't many differences between the teams. Don't think it matters. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with that one. Let's be the best manager I can be. Want to ensure that dressing advantage is much better than it was under our previous manager? Yeah, promise. Yeah, I promise to make sure there's a sure... I can do that. You guys have seen how good I am at managing team morale. But coming to our last manager much sooner than anyone could have anticipated. Can you offer insurances that won't be a repeat of that? I have a proven track record. Actually, I can just go... So this is going to be my last team in the save, so... If I came here, I'd want to stay for a long time. Yep. Would you be comfortable working with the director of football? Yeah. I'm happy to work with him. It's part of the recruitment process. We wouldn't be to request changes to current backroom staff. I don't expect to pay wholesale changes, so I'm going to go with that. Right, if you merge a successful candidate... You would be expected to adhere to the club's vision, right? Entertaining football. Don't sign over thirties. That's fine. So high reputation players. Yep, that's fine. Work within the budget. Yep, that's fine. Minimum four year contracts for first. These guys. I mean, all right, they got a lot of money, but that's that's redonkulous. But we can do it. We can do it. Uh, Syria top half. Right, we're bottom this season. Well, almost bottom team that didn't get relegated this season. Almost top half. Yep, grow the club's reputation. Everyone knows about Napoli. I mean, yep, yep. I'm happy with that. Should you be hired? The expectation for the club is to finish in the top half of the table. I want to say I can make the Euro Cup. 
I'm just going to agree. I'm going to agree. 32 million. Yes, that would be fantastic. Thank you. Uh, and one and a half million wage budget. Yeah, I agree. That'd be fantastic. I've got no requests there. Rightio. Fingers crossed, gang. We could be in Italy soon. I am going to mention, though, I have found another Belgian defender uh, at Standard, so I'm going to offer him a contract. And look, I think I'm going to leave these guys in a pretty good state. I hope it goes quickly because there's another Peruvian defender um, that I'd like to get a hold of yeah and i've tied down most of the key personnel here so there is no reason for circle bruce to drop down the ladder too quickly without me at the helm so fingers crossed napoli get back to us soon transfer windows about to open i'd like to hit the ground running when we get there let's um do a bit of time travel and find out ciao tutti welcome to napoli my first big league job let's get into this all oh, right, I'm excited. I'm excited. A bit of fresh fun for the save. A bit of fresh fun. Let's get into it. I'm excited. Maradona's old club, club with a massive history. I speak about six words of Italian in real life, but we'll get into it. We'll get into it. Molto bene. Molto bene. So we got a huge stadium, great training facilities, average youth facilities, and going to good youth recruitment. So I'll be looking to upgrade that. Um, we get to think how we're going to go through this save. I, I think in the interest of all the buzz about the recent announcement about FM 23 and the drop in November of that, I need to get things moving with this save a bit. So probably going to be more of a condensed format. Like I think, I think I'll continue that the highlights thing I've did for two or three matches. So you guys get to see a few more matches than you normally would, perhaps not all of them. And then we'll just bring you the big games in the regular format, but we'll see. We'll see. I better go and meet the squad, see how things are and go and spend some of this transfer budget that I've got. Right. So here's the initial squad we've been given here at Lazio. I mean, I think we've got a, a fair bit of depth here. I mean, right down to the, I mean, look at this. I mean, our, um, are you going to play play nice computer? Plus four more players. Anyway, some of these boys here down the bottom here. I mean, even look at Lalic here, two star, great pace. What was the other guy that I like the look of? Um, Jara here, only two and a half star, but fantastic pace and agility. Great holy trinity. Um, hasn't played a game. Oh, I mean, played a few games for us, but um, all these guys were set out by the, the previous manager to be moved on from the club. I mean, I think, I think I've got to clear a few out and I'll send at least a few on some sort of loan. But if you, I mean, look at the best guys here. Um, I mean, I mean, I, th I think he's probably going to play on the wing. Oh, crap. I'll just cop the follow in the middle of recording this. Thank you, OBS. Cheers for the phone. Uh, the follow Draconis Ursa. Well, you get a shout out now. Go follow Draconis Ursa on Twitch. Good Twitch streamer. Football manager dude. Go check him out. Anyway, where were we? Um, so, yeah, we, we've got a fair bit of dip, depth here. I mean, we've got this Brazilian guy. I think a few of them could do with being moved on. I mean, I'm not overly enamored with this guy, but he can do us a job in the, as, as a midfielder. He definitely won't be playing up front. This guy, Battistini, I mean, finishing, but I mean, he's got all the physicals, but you know, he's not going to improve at all. So I, I really have to have a look at clearing a few of these guys off the wage bill. But as usual, all of the scouts, I mean, I, I did have some previous knowledge from scouts when I come in, but as soon as I fix my, put my training knowledge in, the scouts forget everything they've known. Uh, one thing we have done, we've put in a bid for Ricardo Tosi because we are terrible in goal. I mean, this guy's all right, but um, Tosi's come in. He's agreed to a backup contract of all things, but I think he's going to come in. He'll be our starting goalkeeper straight away. Um, I have had a look at a couple of others. Yeah, perhaps we'll bring Montoya in. And look, I am definitely keen to go have a look at um, uh, the traders for Kundo Rubio, see if he's interested in coming to us, uh, get some scouts on him and get some eyes on him. But of note, you know, we've got Sesson you know, late of Tottenham. And um, leads in this save here. But yeah, been, been around the place, been a bit of a journeyman, Sessignon, but not a bad left back choice there, really. Um, in as a squad player, probably end up being one of my starters, either at the back here or up the front. Calafiori, he's probably going to be my starting left back, isn't he? 
Um, but some aging players here. So if we, we, we get the right offers for the guys, we'll get rid of a few. Um, we've got this Albanian fella over here. I mean, he's all right. I'd like better crossing. But he's a very defensive option there. And yeah, what well, I reckon we could do with some more depth at center back. So uh, there was a guy at Standard Liege that I saw that I was interested in. I might go and have a dip for him. He's only worth six million. So we've got it. We've got a few to look at. So that gives you a bit of look at the side. Um, I think we've got some work to do. I mean, I think we're easily capable of mid table, but I'm not satisfied with that. I want to really push for. Um, at least um, um, UEFA Cup, UEFA League, UEFA Cup. What's it called these days? That that tournament, the Thursday night, at least Thursday night football. That's at least what we want. Obviously, Champions League might be a bit of out of range yet. I mean, there's some very good sides here in Italy, as you'd expect. But at the end of the day, this is not a bad start. The other guy that I might bring in, possibly, maybe, is um, Romero. But this Chilean guy, just have a look at him. Uh, absolutely eclipses him. He is a walk-up start for the team um, as my advanced midfielder. So I think I can play a similar lineup to what I played last time. Um, could even play some more attacking players here and play inverted wing backs and have all my width on the side here. A lot of stuff to look at. So, so I'm going to go deal with this transfer window and we'll be back to you with some transfer news and let, let's see how we go. I'm pretty optimistic. We've got some money to spend. Whether we can improve the quality or not or move some of these older guys on remains to be seen, but we're going to give it a go. Well, there goes the Facundo Rubio dream. He's just moved to Southampton by the looks of it. Um, yep, yeah, just gone there this season. So only made, over those two years, only made 37 appearances for Al Ali and didn't score at all. So he should have stayed with us. Um, yeah. Premier League quality, I guess. Where are Southampton these days? Um, let's have a look. Oh, yeah, then the Premier League. So he's made it the Premier League. Always knew he had it in him, but oh, well, them is the breaks. Uh, we have made another for another. Uh, we have made an offer for another winger, so we'll let you have, know how that goes. We've also made an offer for Dennis from, uh, where is he from? He's from Standard Liege. Uh, let's have a look at the ins here. So Ricardo Tosi um, has agreed to terms, apparently, and we're just waiting on him to agree to it. So that's pretty good. That's $5.5 million or pounds worth of business. Uh, we've made an offer for this guy, Dennis. Look, he's not going to be a starter, but he'd be a fantastic backup, and he's still pretty young. I still think he will develop. Um, I think he'll be a good signing for us. No nonsense set it back. I mean, he passes all right, but great teamwork, good positioning, fantastic jumper reach, big lad, and pacier than most of our defenders that we have currently. And uh, Marco Lanza Farm. Lanza Farm, eh? I guess it would be. Um, took a bit of a risk on this guy. Scouts thought he was pretty good. Um, he doesn't look he's pretty good. I've put in $8 million for him. So we might have to move a couple on. Um, I mean, I'd like to get Cessignon off the wage bill. Probably he's probably going to play the same position as Cessignon. Um, so we'll see how we go with that. I'll bring you an update when we got one. Right, so it turns out the first competitive game of the season is actually a cup game. So we're going to bring you that. Uh, we're taking on Palmero, who are in Serie B. Oh, that's Serie C. Wow. Okay. They've how the mighty have fallen. Um, anyway, we're going to bring you this. Uh, it's a bit of a glorified friendly, but we are going to send the first team out there anyway. Thank you, Steam. Um, but I think we should go pretty well here. So we're going to introduce you to the side here. Um, obviously, Ricardo Tosi's in goal. We all know Ricardo Tosi, what he's about. Uh, he's come in as a two and a half star keeper. He's actually the best keeper I've got on the list here. So that I'm not gonna say it's a bit of a worry. There's a whole heap of younger keepers that I've found, but they're just yeah. I've I've kind of paid the money for Tosi now. I want to give him a go and see how he goes. So the back four is um, for this match, Sessignon, who probably will move to the bench eventually. But I've got. Uh, Califiori on the bench here. Look, he, he wants to move. No officer coming in for him. He's on the list for 28 million, 110k a week. Look, he's 31. I would take an offer, especially if I got 28 million for him. There'd be some young fella out there I could pick up that would be almost as good, but would they? I mean, look at that. I mean, there's no real green numbers there, but he is solid yellow across the board. No real lacking things there for a defender. Uh, he's 
been playing the wing back role for me and been doing pretty well in the preseason. But Sessignon, um, able deputy, able deputy, uh, shall we say? Um, they're both getting on a bit. Um, I mean, Ryan Sessignon won't be any stranger to most of you that play football manager. At the back, we've got this fella, Azulo Hamedtaj. Hamataj? Hamataj? An Albanian international, 33 caps at 24 years of age. Probably got a little bit of room for improvement still. Look, he's not too bad. His heading's not great, but his jumping reach is good. Uh, and he's got good pace, which is what I like in my defenders. On the covering duty, we have Wolkowicz here, a uh, Polish international. 125 caps for Poland. I'm not used to having so many Polish, oh, Polish? Uh, international players, I mean. Uh, again, he'll do a job for me. Again, a good pace. Um, not a huge amount of lightning quick defenders getting around in this division. Not in the in the teams that we're going to be expecting to beat. And uh, this fella, Soppy, he'd be, he's probably on my first on the list to replace. I mean, he's all right, but he's not fantastic, is he? Oh, yeah. I mean, he'll do all right as long as he can get the ball in and, and cross the ball all right. Um, hopefully, we can work on this partnership here. Uh, this is not quite my starting midfield, I think, but we've got uh, Terrance here. Terrance? Ramon Terrance. The Spanish level. All, all these guys are over 32, so I've got a bit of squad clearing to do, shall we say. Um, I, I found a couple of guys that are nearly as good as this, but I'm not willing to completely ruin the squad morale. By the, all, all of these guys are high in the club hierarchy or very high in the club hierarchy, and i Gutting them would absolutely ruin morale. So we're going to do the best we can. He's banned for the next Serie A match anyway. And we've got plenty of um, midfielders to step up into the void there. Um, Ibsen, the Brazilian midfielder here, he'll be my starting centre midfielder on attack, most likely. Uh, great first touch, good heading. So he'd be good pushing into the box to get onto the end of the crosses. Great passing, great technique, and the vision and the flair to go with it, and good work rate. That's what I like to see. And excellent stamina. So he's going to have no problems playing in the passing role. Um, also, we have this fella, Chilean star, Mateus Leighton. Uh, 34 caps for Chile at 25. Look, again, pretty good across the board here. Good technique. Um, it's going to be good off the free kick, so hopefully we'll get a few cheap goals from that. But 19 flair, and um, look at that pace and acceleration. Um, as an attacking midfielder, I really want to see him pushing past um, up front. Um, Vernon, he was getting the start in front of Sessignon here and probably will continue to get the start in front of Sessignon if he does well. Just a, a good inside forward here. So hopefully Sessignon will overlap down that left-hand side there and cause some troubles. Irenu, another Brazilian, uh, a bit younger this time, not quite as quick as I'd like on a winger. I would palm this guy off. I think he's got good value for what he does. Um, he's a bit in the Camilo Romero mold, really, um, a little bit taller um, and got the technique and the flair. And hopefully, he can get a few crosses in and find a few passes and be that creative winger that I like to have in the in the mould of Facundo Rubio. And um, starting up front today, we have Marco Pone, just because of his holy trinity. We've got quicker guys on the bench, so if it turns out that he can't get in there and get about things, we have, we have alternatives. We have alternatives. But who's he wanted by? Bologna. Okay. I'd consider an offer for him as well. Uh, we have other guys on the bench that will be introduced to you later. So that is a starting lineup for this game. Never press French Church. Go, no, we're going to ignore that. We're going to press like we used, like we like to. And let's get into this match here. We're favorites for a reason. Let's pump the fists. And uh, then they're, they're, they're not into the fistings here yet. It's going to take a while, as it normally does. Um, I'm plenty excited. Um to to captain Napoli. Oh, to captain? To coach. To manage Napoli, even. Right, let's get the match sounds on first. Right, let's get out there and do the business here. Right. So it's been a bit of an interesting transfer window. Um, as usual, when you change clubs, the scouts have forgotten everything they knew beforehand, and I've had to start from scratch. Um, a bit restrictive in Italy with bringing in following players, but that's all right. 
Um, we'll, we'll find the Italians. We've got two scouts scouting Italy, one for end of contract and um, one for young fellas. I think I might put – I'm about to sign another scout. I think I'll just put him on looking for uh, first-team players that fit our system. Um, got a fair bit of money to spend. Oh, that's nice. Very nice boy, Irenu. But it's offside. We're going to go to the very accurate referee here in our first game with our first shot on goal. And the players don't look too keen on that. And I think that's going to be disallowed. Yeah, he looked offside. I mean, it was a lovely ball. Who's hit the ball here? Um, Vernon. Just a fraction offside here from our number seven. Never mind. We'll have more chances this game, I'm sure. All right. Um, in other news, Camilo Romero from Circle Bruges seems to be on his way to uh, Bayer Leverkusen. So that is good. Look, I've had a look at Montoya. I think most of our forwards we got are better than Montoya. And for the money I'd have to pay for him, I could probably get someone in a position that's... Oh, that's a penalty, ref. That's a penalty. You don't need to go to the VAR for that. Um, for the money I'd spend on Romero, I think I could get a better player elsewhere. Um, I have Bornishimirimimana. You know, I have trouble with that name. I brought him with me just for shits and gigs. Um, we've got an offer in for him. Right, Sessignon steps up to take the penalty here. Nailed a couple in pre-season. Nails this one without any dramas. And the Englishman, Ryan Sessignon, gets us off the mark here. Great stuff. Come on, Napoli. Let's do it. And gets... It's the opening goal of my managerial, managerial career here. And they are playing a um, five at the back. Now, that is the other lineup I'm training. I'm training a couple of my old tactics that I used to play in Wales. I think the Italian football might suit that a bit better. Uh, Vernon's knackered already. Now, Jaro was a guy that I nearly sold a couple of times. How are you knackered already, mate? Um, just do it. Bring him on. I probably haven't had a proper look at the fatigue here, to be fair. A few of these guys got thrown into the under-20 side accidentally. Uh, Ibsen's going to want to come off now here. Uh, we're going to try and run Ibsen out to half-time, I think. And Leighton's going to have to come off as well. So a few substitutions that we have to make here. Now let's go to the dressing room. Uh, we're going to outstretch the arms and say we're delighted so far. No one's particularly pleased with my coaching so far. There's a good... There's a good feeling in the dressing room, but most of the players seem to doubt me a little bit. No idea why. I don't speak the language, and I've never managed in a top top league before. So I guess that's to be understood. Right. Let's get here and make those changes, shall we? Uh, Ibsen needs to come off central midfield on attack. I think it's uh, Milanese that goes there. Yes, it's Milanese. He can go there. And that will do for now. Hopefully, Leighton, we can get another half an hour out of him, maybe. All right, get out there, lads, and show us what it's all about. So as much as I said I was, wasn't going to, I'll probably bring you the next game and then a game a little bit further in after that, just because we want to see the first game of the league and see how things kick off. Right here, I'll sort this one. Um, tactics, please. Right, Milanese can go there. Actually, what have we got? He can play these. Passing's not great. But we can put him in as a shadow striker, I guess. What else have we got here? I mean, we could do with one more creative central midfielder, I think. We do have a couple of young kids out there. Matthias Marin. Yeah, he could probably go as well. Who wants him? Well, Circle Bruges want him, right? I'll quite happily sell him to Circle Bruges. Not a drama. Um, how are Bruges affording his wages, though? I have no idea. Right, yeah, we are gonna, we're just going to go with that. We're going to bring um, Desnar. The, uh, the Belgian on. Um, started his career at the start of the save with Anderlecht. There we go. And then's had time in Holland and England. 
But yeah, uh, I think that's pretty good. How many subs we've got left? That's it. Confirm the sub. Let's see if we can get another goal here. That'd be nice. Right. This is more Sessignon to take the free kick. And Sessignon with his second. Ryan Sessignon is on a hat trick here, folks. And um, this Palmero side really don't have too much to, uh, to throw at us. Oh, this is good. This is not a bad start here. I'll, I don't concede here, boys, please. Oh, they've given away a penalty. Volkovic. Volkovic has given away a penalty. Has he? The very accurate re says, yes, penalty awarded. Ricardo Tosi, don't be a hero in your first game, mate. Can you do it? Rauchi steps up and sends Tosi the wrong way. And that's an easy goal for Francesco Rauchi. I don't want to see your replay. Let's just get this over and done with, please. Dearie me. Not good at all, fam. Not good at all. So I think we got some improvement to make in the side, but this is a um, not a bad display from Sessignon so far. The Soppy comes back to get the ball for us and goes all the way back to Tosi. And uh, Volkovic's best defender, yeah, on the on he's just just getting on a bit. But I do like how we bring the ball out like this. It's we are a little bit better on the ball than oh, they say ah oh, the Sayer. What a cracking goal from Gerard Desaia. That was a lovely bit of play from Volkovic bringing the ball out. And he's just giving the ball to Ineu here, who goes to Soppy. And Soppy plays a lovely first-time ball in. And Desaia. Wow. Beats the keeper easily there. And we are up. He does the chicken dance. He's so happy. And we're up 3-1 here. Uh, Volantini comes out. I could do with some involuntini. Oh, I am a bit hungry. Uh, Pone. Oh, tries the through ball to play his um, attacking midfielder through there, but doesn't quite hit the pass well enough. Oh, that's terrible. Jabuni. Oh, Tosi does enough to make himself big there, and the ball goes out over the bar. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to see here, folks. Not vulnerable at the back at all. But I think we've done pretty well here. I think we've done pretty well. So, yeah, the lineup's not quite how I'd like it, but I think we've got a good enough squad to get by and make the top half as the club wants us to get. I still think with a couple of signings, we can push for Europe. I mean, this back four is good. We've got um, Sessing on the push up here. Um, and ideally, he'll play as a winger there instead of Jara. And I would prefer to play Jari here, but Desaia has done well there. Um, Pone, yeah, he's all right. I mean, Desaia, they're all this sort of player that aren't hugely quick, but have good intelligence and good mentals and good physicals otherwise. I've only got one real quick striker. That's all right. We didn't play with quick strikers at Bruges, and we won the lot twice in a row. So you're going to outstretch the arms. It's a good win for us, lads. There we go. Bit of motivation for the boys. And I've got my first win in Italian competition off to a good start here. Let's get some momentum going. Well, not a bad start to our career in Italy. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the episode, guys. Subscribe if you're new here. Go check this video out up here. I'm not sure which one I'm going to put there yet. Actually, yeah, well, it's the start of our run. We're going to put the first episode of the Journeyman Save Up where we start unemployed. My name's Waylands. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.